Hey, Otis, this is Brady, and today I'm here with your Lady Otis softball center fielder, Elena Cavillo, right fielder, Grace Gonzalez, and Anya Lopez, who plays first base. Welcome, ladies. Glad you all could join me today. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. <laughs> Elena, congrats on the two singles and your RBI in the tough loss versus Dawson last Friday. Thank you. Also, congrats to all of you on being District 23 6A champions. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Elena, what are you most proud of this season and the years you have played for the team? Um, I think I'm most proud of everyone working through injuries because in the beginning of the season, pretty much half the team was hurt and we really worked through it and utilized all the talent we had and we kind of still try to exceed and in everything we do and live up to the Pearland softball tradition. Um, yeah, and what this program is about. Anya, what does the team need to do in order to recover from the loss on Friday and prepare themselves for the playoffs? Um, I think that we just need to have control of our emotions and just mentally prepare ourselves for um, what's to come um, because it is a grind. And I just think we need to be confident in the talent that we have and because we have a lot of talent and energy and positivity, and I think we just need to lean on that and we'll go far. We have a lot of young talent. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, which one of you three do you think is the most talented on the team? <laughs> I think mm -hmm. Elena. I think Grace um, is Elena really balls talented. Out. I think Elena balls out. Mm, Anya is um, so good. No, like, I, she sticks the ball so well. If you look so at the well stats, Elena has a great <laughs> swing, lots of power. Has Grace, this is our number two in the Grace lineup. is like, one second. Or Anya, That's her, Anya has a speed. great stick at first base. Grace great is like, like Grace. lightning speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> slow. I hey, but you hit it hard. Every time coach tells me to steal, I'm out, so. It's okay. Anyways. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll the answer. I'm no. Out. Anya. <laughs> Grace. Grace and Anya are very good. <clears throat> Anyways. Grace, no. what strengths does the team have that can be utilized to progress in the playoffs? Um, our team has a lot of fight, and uh, we don't give up often. Um, <laughs> It happens. I think that, yeah, it happens. <laughs> I think that we have a lot of talent on the team, like we all keep saying, and obviously that's going to take us far in the playoffs. And um, yeah. I think just to try to, to not be emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to not kind of get our the feelings, game. get the best of us. I mean, if one inning goes wrong, yeah. I think some teams really just like shut down. Once the pitcher shuts down, then everyone shuts down, or once someone doesn't get a hit, then everyone doesn't get a hit. Mm -hmm. I think we really just need to. Kind of just that. like have that mentality like, oh, they're up, but like that doesn't mean anything. It's still early, early in the game and we yeah. can come back from that like we always do. I think we should just like get ahead early in the game because when, yeah. when we do that, we shut other teams down. Yeah, and then like everyone has like the momentum and like mm -hmm. adrenaline. Everyone's like, after one person hits, like then everyone else starts to hit. Mm -hmm. And then like it's just like hit after hit. And then like the other team just keeps making errors and mm -hmm. we keep scoring. Yeah, and it's it's not even that we rely on our talent wholly. It's that Coach Clark is always on the dugout. So I feel like mm -hmm. when we pull through on the dugout, everything, everything really just connects. Through. And if the dugout doesn't pull through, then neither does the team. Yeah, yeah, neither does the it's team. It's always correct. <laughs> <laughs> the dugout carries. <laughs> <laughs> always on the dugout. It's on the dugout. Yeah. yeah. So what was y'all's motivation to play softball, and will you continue playing it in college? Um. Oh. My motivation to play softball when I was younger was that my two siblings were in baseball and softball. Um, eventually both of them quit, but I just picked up the bat right after my brother and I just kept with it, I guess. Kept trying out and everything every year and I will be playing college softball next year, this fall. Next school year. Okay. Um, <laughs> my motivation was just that I tried all different sports. I tried dance, soccer. Um, karate, um, okay. gymnastics, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> Multi-sport yeah. lady. <laughs> but I fell in love with softball, and I just never wanted to quit. And I just hold on to, like, the passion that I had when I was younger okay. for it. Um, and I will not be playing college. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, the way I kind of <laughs> played softball was because I saw that my sister did it, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll try too. And then I ended up like falling in love with it, and now I kind of just play like to, I guess like pay back my parents all the time and money that there they is spent. a lot of time and money yeah, put and into. So I kind of do it for them, and I am playing next semester, I guess, next school year. In college. Go dogs!
Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Go Thanks, ladies, for coming on the show. Thanks, Thanks for, having for having us. us. Good luck in the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Brady, and you've been watching Sports Report. <laughs>